The Champions League final. It's by far and away the biggest match in club football, where legends are born and enemies are made, where dreams are lived and nightmares are endured, where players, managers and fans write their own history, which clubs will never forget. Where comebacks and thumpings, last minute goals and penalties are the norm, and major headlines are expected. It's where the best of the best of the best meet for one showdown to see who will get the glory, the fame and the history, and who will be forgotten. This is why Real Madrid will win the Champions League. It's time for a big peak. Okay, so the semi-finals are wrapped up. And we now know the Champions League final will be between Real Madrid and Liverpool. Let's start off by looking at Real Madrid's run to the final. Real Madrid came into this Champions League campaign as holders and entered at the group stage. They were drawn in an immensely difficult group with Borussia Dortmund, Tottenham and Apoel Nicosia. Real Madrid were comfortable enough with Dortmund and Apoel, however, earning 12 points out of a possible 12 against them. Real Madrid weren't so comfortable with Tottenham though, who went on to win the group, as they could only draw at home against Spurs, and that was followed by a 3-1 defeat at Wembley. Still, Real Madrid qualified. However, they were given a horrible last 16 draw against the side many were tipping to win the whole tournament. PSG Despite PSG's hype after they topped another challenging group, they could not cope with Los Blancos, who went on to win 5-2 on aggregate after winning both legs. They were rewarded for comfortably dispatching a European giant, with getting another one in the quarter-finals. Juventus came into this tie with belief after knocking out Tottenham, who had previously had the number on Madrid. However, all belief appeared to be shattered after a Ronaldo masterclass saw Madrid win 3-0 in Turin. Unbelievably, belief was restored with Juve 3-0 up at the Bernabeu heading into stoppage time. However, a 98th minute penalty was awarded by Michael Oliver, to the despair of Gigi Buffon and Juve fans. This gave Ronaldo the chance to step up and supply another big moment in a career littered with big game performances. And he, of course, delivered the killing blow to Juventus and proceeded to take off his shirt in celebration. Real Madrid were drawn against Bayern Munich in the semi-final, a tie which Bayern manager Jupp Heynckes referred to as the Clash of the Giants. And Real Madrid, for a third time in as many knockout rounds, won the away leg. A 2-1 first leg win at the Allianz gave Madrid control of the tie. And despite another nervy second leg at the Bernabeu, Madrid edged the tie 4-3 on aggregate to set up yet another Champions League final featuring Real Madrid. That completes the road to Kiev, but what can Real Madrid do now they're there? I really don't feel like Real Madrid get the credit they deserve. Whenever people talk about their campaign, they bring up the fact they finished second in their group and that they scraped through against Juve because of a penalty decision. But their Champions League opponents so far have included Borussia Dortmund, Tottenham, PSG, Juventus and Bayern Munich. Yet they've still made it to the final. You have to hold up your hands and say fair play, fair play. Now this video is about why Real Madrid will win this Champions League and where else to start than Cristiano Ronaldo. <gasps> Real Madrid's all-time record goalscorer has once again stolen the headlines on their way to the final. And it just feels like this competition was made for him. Being a four-time winner, he's also the Champions League all-time record goalscorer. Nutty! And as to be said, he is a legend who continues to perform at the highest level. And some would say he single-handedly carried an ageing team to the final this year. Although I feel it would be very harsh to overlook other factors and say he's the only reason they've made it to the final. Another reason why Real Madrid will win the Champions League is Zinedine Zidane. The playing legend is establishing himself as a managing legend as well now. With two titles under his belt already and another final on the way, the man is yet to be knocked out of this competition! The third reason why Real Madrid will win the Champions League is experience. The players, manager, fans and club have been there and done it at this stage. Something you can't say to the same level for Liverpool. In fact, the Real Madrid squad have a combined 48 winning Champions League medals. Compare that with Liverpool's zero. And experience can help you get over the line at this stage. Less chance of a rabbit caught in the headlights sort of situation. Also, it could be important to mention that Liverpool haven't yet proved themselves against a tried and tested Champions League outfit. All the teams they've knocked out as of yet have had similar experience levels to them. Finally, the fourth reason why Real Madrid will win the Champions League is history. Real Madrid have won an astonishing and record 12 Champions League titles. And it would take the team in second place, AC Milan, winning Liverpool's entire tally to catch up with them. That shows the sheer dominance Real Madrid have had on this competition throughout its history. Also, the last time these two teams met in the Champions League, Real Madrid wiped the floor with Liverpool, winning both games in the group stage of the 14-15 season. A group in which Real Madrid topped 
and Liverpool didn't even qualify. And Real Madrid will be hoping they come out on top against Liverpool once again on the 26th of May. And that is why Real Madrid will win the Champions League. So, thanks for watching the video, guys. I already made a video earlier in the week on why Liverpool will win the Champions League, so go check that out. But first, if you did enjoy this one, please drop a like and share so I can grow. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you soon!